What's up, guys? Adventure Zach here. Thought I'd bring you guys a quick little tip. All right, so if you've noticed in my previous videos, I tend to complain about my visors and my goggles and things of that nature fogging up on me. Well, I went ahead and I treated my goggles. Still have a little bit of fingerprints on them um, from when I did so. But I treated the inside of my goggles. So all I've got to do now on the outside is apply a little bit of rain -X for the water to beat off. Boom. Good to go. Um, trick today. Tip today. Shaving cream. Just regular, basic shaving cream. This seems to always work the best for me. Um, Gillette, foamy, original, regular, whatever. Original. Mousse shaving cream. So what I did is I went ahead and I put this in my sink. I washed this visor off. You can see there's a little bit more fingerprints on her. My daughter um, thought it'd be funny to place it back in the helmet after I took it out. I guess she thought that it was broken and wanted to help me fix it. Anyways, though, so we washed this off in the sink. Warm water. Actually, pretty hot water. Um, this visor itself on my Sedici Adventure helmet did not state that it was anti-fog. Um, really, the only helmets that I've ever purchased in the past that advertised anti-fog that were actually anti-fog were my Scorpion helmets. They're amazing. Scorpion helmets indeed are anti-fog. When they say they're anti-fog, they will not fog. <laughs> so, what we got here is just an old t-shirt. I used this when I did the goggles. Um, I noticed that t-shirts work the best. Microfibers are good and all, but the problem with microfiber towels is that, I don't know, they claim they don't leave lint. These leave lint. And once they get lint, mm, excuse me, once they get lint on them, it is extremely hard to get the lint off. So just a basic cotton shirt, really soft cotton shirt works amazing. So all you do, <coughs> real simple. Get yourself, make sure the visor's nice and clean on the inside again. I took mine off. Two little screws on the side of my adventure helmet that held the, the sun visor in with the shield and everything. Simple. Take the two screws out, pop them off the clips, done ski. So, and I'm going to actually apply this to my drop-down sunshade as well. I've just got to see if I can get that to come out. And if I can't get it to come out, then that's fine. I'll just go ahead and apply it with it in the helmet. It'll just you know, be somewhat... Not very messy, a little messy, but smells good. Original, regular shaving cream smells really good. At least I think so. So we wipe that off. Give this a shake. Shake it up. A little too much. Doesn't hurt, but kind of like anything. Less is more. You can always apply it again. Now this is like anything. Um, doesn't last forever. So you're going to have to reapply this, but in the past, I've had luck with this lasting for a couple months, to be honest with you. It all depends on how much you ride, and if you get your visor wet or grimy and you clean it a lot, then obviously the more you clean it, the dirtier it's, or the, the quicker you're going to wipe this off. So, you know, we don't have to worry about getting it into where it's outside of our peripheral, which is where the screw hole is. So all I like to do is I just take the shaving cream, I fill it up on the visor, and honestly, this I applied way too much, but that's not a problem. Um, too much of this is not a problem at all. It's very easy, cleans up very easily, um, very easy to, to remove it. So all we do is apply it to the visor, like so. It's applied to the visor. Yeah, it smells really good. You get this on the inside of your helmet when you're doing your, your drop-down sun visor. You can only make it smell good. All right, so went ahead and applied that to the inside of the helmet. So all we're going to do now, I'm going to step away for a second, rinse this off. We're going to let this sit for about, I usually let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, usually more like 15 minutes, and it lets the shaving cream dry up some, turns into like a, like a dry foamy rather than kind of a wet foam. So we're going to let this dry for about 10, 15 minutes, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're back. So as you can see, it's more of like a foamy. Well, it's, it's always been foam, but you know what I mean if you've ever dealt with shaving cream before. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and take our shirt. 
just going to get it off the edge. See how it's different? It's more of like a, like disintegrates almost, crumples. So what we're going to go ahead and do is take a part of the shirt. It doesn't have it on there. So what we do now is we're just going to start buffing this off. And all you're doing is removing this. You're also buffing it out. You're going to, you're going to remove the shaving cream, but you're going to buff it like this. So, and you'll get it all over you. That's all right. It's just shaving cream. It's not going to hurt anything. And just keep on buffing it off like so. And eventually, as you can see, we're getting there. And a tip you definitely want to do, you want to make sure you use, don't use a wet shirt. I'm using another, just an old t-shirt. Don't want to use a wet shirt. You want to use a dry shirt because you want to actually buff this out to where you're crystal clear again. If you use a wet shirt, then you'll just be wiping, you know, kind of washing away the shaving cream that you put on there. Dry cloth, buff it out. It's going to be probably on the outside of the visor as well. That's fine. Just clean it off like so. Be in all the crevices of the lens. Just wipe it off like this. As you can see right there. And as you can see, we're pretty much crystal clear again. Don't want to overly buff it, obviously. You don't want to sit there and buff it for an hour. Just buff it for a minute. Get the bulk of the shaving cream off, like so. And then, obviously, buff the outside because it's going to be on the outside as well. It's actually all over the outside, and that's fine. Just give it a couple wipes. We're just about crystal clear again. Just got a little bit layer on there. Um, I'll give it one more quick buff. And then other than that, we'll reinstall it. It'll be good to go, man. It'll uh, it'll be anti-fog. Again, it doesn't last forever. But I've had it last for a few months for me, and it works extremely well. It works just as well, if not better, than the other anti-fog products. And if you apply a little bit of rain -X to the outside of the visor, on the outside of it, or your goggles, you'll be set, man. You'll have water beating and anti-fog. So hopefully you guys like this tip. Gillette shaving cream, any shaving cream, works well. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.